men, stop asking women for their body count. Newsflash, what she did before she met you isn't your business. The only thing that really is your business is if she has something that's health related that can end up affecting you. Oh. Okay. So listen, guys. Listen, listen. According to this succubus Jezebel spirit of a woman that has tattoos, like I told y'all, tattoos are a red flag in a woman. You cannot hold a woman accountable for her past because apparently her past does not have anything to do with her future. That's like saying Lana Rhodes, just because Lana Rhodes was an adult film star that has been more ran through than train tracks, that she is going to be a good hus uh, a good uh, wife and that she's going to be submissive and that her past does not matter. It does not matter that she has thousands of videos online, which you can see for free of her doing certain acts on camera. That does not matter. You can listen, you listen, it doesn't matter, but guess what? But guess what? These are the same women that, that are going to ask you, Hey, what do you do for a career? How much money do you make? What tax bracket are you in? What type of car do you have? What type of house do you have? What type of designer shoes do you wear? Blah, 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 this. They can ask you everything in the world. Oh, uh, uh, how did your last relationship end? But guess what? You can't hold them accountable for anything. You can't ask them any questions. You just gotta be. I'm a better male. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna ask your body count because if I do, you're gonna get mad at me. You're not gonna give me no buttons. Okay. That's what they want you to do. You cannot make this up. You cannot make this up. You literally cannot make this up. Your business. The only thing that really is your business is if she has something that's health related that can end up affecting you. And guess what? The more a woman is ran through, that can affect me. But guess what? Because guess what? She can end up cheating on me because she has the she has lost the ability to pair bond. She has too big of an appetite for me to fulfill. So yes, that can affect the man. So the answer to the first part of this question is no, my boyfriend. Did your boyfriend give it to you? If no, how does he feel about you having it and deal with the relationship? Please don't tell me that this woman has a sexual transmitted disease. Friend is not the one who gave me herpes. And then for the second part of this question, I have him right here so he can answer. So how do you feel about me having herpes and dating me? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't bother me. Um, I think what bothers me is somebody lied to her about having it and then spread it. Trying my best to keep my composure. You, sir, this is what a, a Betamil soy boy looks like. This man is so desperate for a used, warm, wet hole that he himself will risk his life just to be with her. This is truly sad. I'm not going to lie. This, this, this makes me upset. This makes me upset. Men. You are may, you are way more valuable than you think. You do not have to settle for a woman that has herpes. What is wrong with you men? You're that down bad for some coochie? Bro, it would have been better for you to go to the hub or the local website and go just rub one off, get that post nut clarity out of your head, and then say, okay, I'm good. But you're so desperate for a warm, wet hole that you decided that you wanted to be in a relationship and have intercourse with a woman that has herpes. You're sick. You need help. You are sick, sir. You are sick. You are sick in the head. What is wrong with you? You know, you're always aware there's a little bit of inherent risk, but it's worth it. And it's know, worth it. She's the best. So. It's worth it. It's worth it's worth me losing my life. I just love her so much. I just love her so much. I just love her so much. Bruh. Bruh. Like, are you serious? Like, I got a headache right now, bro. Like, damn, what is wrong with you? 
You are enabling this. I just think it was wrong. That's the dude. That's the dude. That's the dude. That's the dude. If you don't shut your better cuck ass up, I ain't trying to hear that. What's wrong with you, man? And you got other men. You got other men thinking that this is okay to be with the woman that has herpes. Are you serious? That they should, that, that they should just deal with that. That they can't do better than a woman that has an STD. Really? It's not a problem. All right. So there you have it.